Hey everybody, welcome back around to the Blog and Grill. I'm your host, Doug, here with your video blog for July 1st, 2013. It is the end of June, beginning of July. I got Athlete of the Month, a preview of what's to come the rest of the week in the blog, especially Wednesday. And But first, it's time for thumbs up, thumbs down from the weekend. First, I'm going to give you my thumbs up. My thumbs up goes to the Pittsburgh Pirates. They have the best record in baseball. They're currently riding a nine-game win streak, and they possess a two-game lead in the National League Central. The Pittsburgh Pirates rolling right along. They have good young pitching. Pedro Alvarez is having a all-star caliber year. Andrew McCutcheon is having another solid year as well. And just a lot of a lot of good players doing good things. They have good pitching. Lock, Jeff Locks pitched well for them. Um, Garrett Cole who's just come up, has pitched very well for them as well. So Pittsburgh Pirates are my thumbs up for the weekend. And my thumbs down are Jim Leland and Rick Porcello. Over the weekend, Friday night, we saw Fernando Rodney throw up and in the Tampa Bay Ray closer, throw up and in on Miguel Cabrera, didn't hit him, and Jim Leland said something would have to come of it. So then sad, I think it was Saturday, or yesterday, Saturday threw at him, yesterday, we see Ben Zobris get hit up and in right by his shoulder in the bottom of the first inning. First off, if you're going to get him back, don't throw it near his head again. First off, don't throw it near his head. Bad play. But then in the postgame press conference, own up to what you did. Rick Porcello saying the fastball got away. Jim Leland said, no way were we trying to throw up and in. Own what you did. You might get a suspension, but own up to what you did. Don't make a lie. Everybody knows you threw at him. So just say you threw at him. Joe Torre, vice president of baseball, knows you threw at him. He's really not going to suspend you because he knows it's part of the game. Joe was in the game. He knows it's part of the game. But own up to what you did. And if you're going to throw at a guy, hit him in the lower back. Don't make it another chance to, for somebody to get hit in the head because that's not the proper way to handle it. And But if you're going to do it, just own up to it. Come on. This is the big leagues. Just own up to what you did. All right, that's my thumbs up, thumbs down. Now on to our Athlete of the Month. It could have been LeBron James. <clears throat> it for sure was not going to be Aaron Hernandez. But my Athlete of the Month has to be the right fielder for the Dodgers, Yasiel Puig. Yasiel Puig, his first full month, or his first month in the big leagues was June. And he had a stellar, a stellar month of June. He hit 436, 7 home runs, 16 RBIs, and on base percentage of 467, and a slugging percentage of 713. And it's not like he's just coming up and hitting the ball. The Dodgers are 8 and 2 in their last 10, and Puig has been on fire. Yasiel Puig should be in the All Star game. There's some debate about whether he should be, and he should be in the All Star game. It'll get people to watch it. If we get to see young guys like Trout, Harper, Puig, and another young guy you got to watch out for is Manny Machado for sure. I'm on more about Major League Baseball All Star Game on Friday for sure. But just some thoughts there. Yasiel Puig has to be my athlete of the month. He also becomes the first player. He now has 101 career at bats. He becomes the first player with 44 hits in his first 100 at bats since, check this, Earl Combs, 1924. So he becomes the first player to hit in, in their first turn at bats to have 44 hits in almost 95 years. I mean, that is unheard of. You see Puig putting on a clinic in the big leagues for sure. All right, that's all I got for you today. I do um, I think we might just might have had Chris Paul agrees to a $107 million extension with the Clippers. That's big news there. Dwight Howard's talking to the Lakers, but he's having dinner tonight with the Houston Rockets. I'm going to have more on Dwight Howard, more on free agency come Wednesday. I'll have a look at your MLB power rankings. I'm also going to give you the top three July 4th performances in sports history. Uh, other news here, Yankees, okay, A-Rod, he's going to begin his rehab games tomorrow. Let's see if they say where he's going to be. That's big news right there. Yankees need to get A-Rod back. I'm going to have more on A-Rod, too, this week for sure. He's going to be in single A Charleston, South Carolina, on Tuesday night. So if you're in Charleston, get tickets to that game. A-Rod has been cleared by New York Yankees now, 
and he's getting ready to play some rehab games, which is going to be big for the Yankees, who need to get some bats back on the field for sure. All right, follow me at Twitter at YankeeBaller415. Always check me out on JBSmooth84.com. I'm working on a new article about who I think Dwight Howard will choose and why he will choose them. Always remember, comment, subscribe to my page, leave me a question. I'll answer it right here live on the blog. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good Monday, and I will see you back here on Wednesday afternoon as we get ready for the July 4th holiday. Thanks for tuning in. Have a good one.